big, big night this for Joe Cordina. It could be just this fight between him and a challenge for a world title against Miko Kachatrian with a very similar record from Belgium, born in Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, and has a very smart, amateurish type style, a style that suited him in the amateur ranks, 70 odd fights in those amateur ranks without reaching the levels that Cordina did, Cordina reaching the last 16 of the Olympics in 2016. But plenty of speed on the part of Kachatrian on fights that we've seen in his professional career so far. Both men unbeaten in 13. Yeah, Kachatrian is a good fighter from what I've seen of him. Has that amateur pedigree that he's touched on. He's a good tidy boxer, doesn't waste much. But he's in there with a very good man in Joe Cordina, who looked so spiteful and destructive last time against Joshua Hernandez. It's a brutal first round knockout and that was what we were asking and wanted to see from Joe Cordina and you can see the confidence in this opening round from Joe on the front foot looking spiteful razor sharp hands fainting with the jab there and coming in with the left hook smart boxing very very talented fighter Joe Cordina almost connecting with that right hand which produced such a sensational finish last time around against Joshua Hernandez in a contest that was expected to provide a real test for Cordina and this time he drives it home onto the left hand side of the face of Kachatrian who has to be said takes it well at that stage he's taken a couple of good shots from Joe he's very aggressive right now on the front foot like I say oozing with confidence you can see it even in the build up this week just desperate to get in there and challenge for a world title. Got to take care of business and wants to look good doing so. But no doubt 2022 will be a big year for Joe Cordina. Again, Joe following him. He's got him pinned in the corner. That's where he's got his like, hands go. Cut the short right hands winning. From the Welshman. Half a minute to go in round three. Still Cordina on the front foot. Oh, good right hand. Timed it well behind the left hand jab. Stepped in, found the range with the jab, and that opened up the room for that right hand over the top. Good work from Cordina. Last few seconds of the third round. Chatrian trying the Billy Joe Saunders is David Livio staring out of the ring, but Cordina unfussed. And the two left hooks to the body for Chatrian, but back on Joe Cordina with two good right hands, followed by a right hand and left hook of his own. Good work for the Welshman. Brilliant attack from Cordina, switching the variety. Left hand to the body after a brilliant right hand to the chin. No showboating, no play acting from Kachatrian after that particular exchange. Although he is still firing back and tries another one of those right hands over the top. Half a minute to go in a lively fourth round. Really entertaining stuff and they both trade in the pocket. Three and four shots go, good one, two left up from Cordina. Shake it ahead from Kachatrian. And those body shots from Cordina really being rammed home. And will they eventually, as the rounds pass by, slow down the Belgian? Entertaining contest between two men, so well schooled. I do feel that Kachatrin is slowing down since so now where Joe's got to show his class and up the work rate, let him go in twos and threes and go again. Cuts from Kachatrian. There's still plenty of fight left in the Belgian. For all that he might have been showing signs of weakening, for all that he might have been hurt by that body shot. Now Cordina trying to open up in the corner just above our commentary position here at ringside. Referee how across the wall in Cordina for holding the head of his opponent down and punching at the same time. on the inside, landing the left of the body there, Cordina. 
It's actually yeah, trying to job. counter. Oh, good work from Joe. Changing the levels again. Picks up the movement on the feet to chat around. I did feel this could be a frustrating night for the Cordina. Watch Kochatrin, he's a good fighter from what I've seen in the past, can move. Has that amateur pedigree that you spoke about. Obviously, he has his dreams and aspirations to go and fight for world titles, but Joe. For the most of it, it's been in control. But again, I don't want to discredit Kachatrin too much. He's done what he's done really well. Not done enough to win the fight, but moved. Been relentless. That was a good left to the body from the Welshman. Terrific variety again, oh, having good. landed solidly to the head. That was a brilliant shot to the body from Cordina. And now Kachatrin tries his own version of that left hook to the body, flicks in a right uppercut as he steps away. Neglecting the jab as well, that's better from Joe, get behind that jab, that was set the right hand up, good right hook, Chatterin inside. Simultaneous right hands landing there in the last few seconds of this, the penultimate round of ten. Chatterin's been busy in this round, letting his hands go, opting to hold his feet a bit more, see him holding them, standing in the centre of the ring. With half a minute to go, Darrow, you wonder what sort of contest this might have been. Had Kachatran held his ground, working away again, though. Cordina on the inside. Good exchange there in keeping with the pattern and the manner of the entire contest. And still Kachatran trying that right hand over the top. Finishes well, exchange by landing the left hook. Takes a right hand from Cordina to reply. Lively last few seconds of the contest here. A real test for Cordina from start to finish as Kachatran is still firing away. Well, Joe Cordina raises his glove. He's made to work hard throughout those ten rounds by Miko Kachatrian, who came to the ring with a decent amateur pedigree. Yeah, it was, uh, I guess you could say, a frustrating night for Joe Lands. A good right hand there. The better shot, the quality of the shots come from Cordina, but it was just the movement from Kachatrian throughout the, the contest that frustrated Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here in Liverpool, England, we go to the judges' score totals. Pavel Cardini, 100 to 90. John Latham and Jean Robert Lane both scored about 98 to 92. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBA Continental Super Featherweight Champion, Joe, the Welsh Wizard. Oh, yeah.